New York Times reporter and CNN analyst Julie Davis was covering President Donald Trump's rally in Nashville, Tennessee, on Tuesday evening, when a young boy approached her with a message for the media. Davis immediately lost her mind when she heard what the young Trump supporter had to say. On Tuesday evening, President Donald Trump held a rally in Nashville, Tennessee, in support of Rep. Marsha Blackburn, who is campaigning to win a Senate seat this fall. During the rally, New York Times reporter and CNN analyst Julie Davis claimed that she noticed a young boy who had a message for her and the rest of the media. Depressing sight at Trump rally in Nashville, adorable young boy, probably about my son's age, pointing iPhone at me and other reporters and snapping pics while screaming fake news. A child who will grow up believing a free and fair press is the enemy, a bad thing, to be mocked and hated," Davis tweeted. According to the Daily Wire, Davis's colleague, New York Times reporter and MSNBC contributor Jeremy Peters, quickly added fodder to the young boy's perception of the media by claiming that Trump was infecting children. This is appalling. That Trump has coarse in political speech is one thing. But infecting and corrupting children is something no one should abide," tweeted Peters. Obviously, members of the mainstream media aren't happy that Trump has exposed their overwhelming bias. For a while, these liberal hacks had a good thing going. But then, Donald Trump literally came out of nowhere and turned their world upside down. He wasn't a seasoned politician with decades of practice reciting talking points and disseminating politically correct speech. He tells it like it is, and he isn't afraid of calling out the guilty parties when it comes to their unfair reporting. While Davis and Peters were disgusted over being called out by a child, many others applauded the boy ever since Trump took office, the media has been working overtime to discredit him. They've even proven that they're not above employing blatantly dishonest tactics in their incessant quest to make the president look bad. Most recently, the media reported that Trump called illegal immigrants animals. When it was revealed he was specifically referring to the violent members of the notorious street gang MS-13, none of the mainstream outlets guilty of twisting his words clarified their reports. Sadly, we no longer have a free and fair press in America, despite what Julie Davis and her colleagues would have you believe. Just look at the way these so-called journalists covered the Obama administration for eight years versus the way they now cover the Trump administration. Donald Trump has been in office for less than a year and a half, yet he has already defeated ISIS, brought an end to the conflict in the Korean Peninsula, and created millions of new jobs for American workers. Yet, even after accomplishing more than any of his predecessors did in such a short amount of time, Trump isn't given any credit by the media. Instead, his breakthroughs are largely ignored by the press in order to give airtime to Stormy Daniels and anyone else willing to claim they slept with the president decades ago. The situation was much, much different when Barack Obama was president. Obama could do no wrong in the media's eyes. He was lauded and praised for nothing at all, save being the first black man to be elected president. Obama won a Nobel Peace Prize after just a few weeks in office when he had done absolutely nothing to make the world a better place. He went on to embolden terrorists for eight years. He left the world a more dangerous place. Good luck getting anyone with a press pass to admit that, though.